NASA Lucy Asteroid Scouting Mission resumes work on solar arrays in deep space. NASA is ready to launch a $981 million mission to the distant reaches of the solar system Saturday, kicking off a 12-year expedition to visit a group of unexplored asteroids that may offer clues to help scientists decipher how the planets formed more than 4 billion years ago. Welcome back to my channel. Before we proceed, kindly subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated when we release new videos. Without further delay, let's dive in. The Lucy Mission, NASA latest solar system explorer, will leave Earth to begin a series of ever-larger orbital loots around the Sun, eventually reaching the distance of Jupiter in 2027. Then the mission will fly by five asteroids in 15 months before taking another lap around the Sun, setting up for a final flyby of a binary pair of asteroids in 2033. This mission is going to study a population of objects called the Trojan Asteroids, which lead or follow Jupiter in its orbit by 60 degrees, said Hal Levison, Lucy's principal investigator from the Southwest Research Institute, or SWRI, in Boulder, Colorado. The reason why they're important scientifically is they were leftovers. The way we think of them are as fossils, which is why we named the Lucy spacecraft after the human ancestor fossil known as Lucy. Levison said in an interview with Spaceflight Now, this is going to tell us how the giant planets formed and how they moved around. The team behind NASA Lucy Asteroid Mission is resuming work with the spacecraft to fully deploy and latch its second solar array after a recent successful Earth flyby. Lucy conducted the first of three planned Earth flybys on October 16, exactly a year after its launch. Now the spacecraft has resumed high data rate communication with Earth and is operating well in space according to a November 18 NASA update. The team has also resumed trying to complete the deployment of its 24 feet wide, 7 meters, solar arrays, as one of the pair did not fully unfold and latch in the days following launch. The spacecraft was instructed to point toward the sun and fire its array deployment motors for a short period of time on November 7, according to the NASA statement. The operation saw the array deploy a little more fully, but the array still did not latch open so the solar wing still resembles a pie with a tiny slice missing. According to the NASA update, analysis of the operation found a small vibration when the unlatched array interacted with the spacecraft's attitude controller that maintains the spacecraft's position. That vibration hadn't occurred during a previous deployment attempt in June. The team determined that the vibration is too minor to pose a risk to the spacecraft, but is holding off from further deployment attempts while the attitude controller is updated. The way we think of them are as fossils, which is why we named the Lucy spacecraft after the human ancestor fossil known as Lucy. Levison said in an interview with Spaceflight Now, this is going to tell us how the giant planets formed and how they moved around. Built by Lockheed Martin in Colorado, the 3,300-pound, 1,500-kilogram Lucy spacecraft is tucked inside the nose cone of a United Launch Alliance Atlas Five rocket at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Blast off from Launch Pad 41 is scheduled for 5:34 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 9:34 GMT, Saturday. The opening of a 75-minute launch window. There's a 90% chance of good weather for liftoff Saturday, according to the U.S. Space Force weather team at Cape Canaveral. The mission has 23 days to blast off and take advantage of a unique alignment between Earth and the asteroids in the outer solar system. If something prevents launch this year, NASA has a backup opportunity to launch Lucy in October 2022, without any impact to the mission's science goals. The Atlas V rocket's payload shroud, produced by ULA in Harlingen, Texas, is emblazoned with the Lucy mission logo. The insignia features a pictorial illustration of the fossilized remains of a human ancestor, called Lucy by the scientists who discovered her in Ethiopia in 1974. The team does not think that the array issue poses a threat to the 12-year-long tour of nine asteroids, but getting the array fully deployed and latched would boost confidence in the spacecraft's performance, according to the statement. Lucy's science payloads got a workout during the recent Earth flyby, including snapping and chanting images of the moon, and were found to be functioning as expected. The gravity assist maneuver also proved an excellent moment to test out the spacecraft's systems and mission procedures, according to the statement. The spacecraft is scheduled to use a second Earth flyby in 2024 to gain enough speed to visit a handful of Trojan asteroids orbiting at Lagrange Point 4, ahead of Jupiter, in its orbit around the Sun. 
After this, a final Earth flyby in 2030 will fling Lucy out toward a few Trojans trailing Jupiter at Lagrange Point 5. Like the fossil discovery that informed scientists about human evolution, the Trojan asteroids could provide clues about the solar system's ancient history. After Jupiter formed and settled into its current orbit, the asteroids became trapped in swarms, each centered on a gravitationally stable libration point ahead of and behind the solar system's biggest planet. That fossil transformed our understanding of hominid evolution, just like we hope that the Lucy spacecraft will transform our understanding of solar system, Olkin said. NASA selected the Lucy mission, along with another asteroid, explorer named Psyche, for development in 2017. Psyche is scheduled to launch next year to orbit a metal-rich asteroid. Lucy and Psyche, sometimes called sister missions, will visit different types of objects but both could tell scientists much about the evolution of the solar system. The two deep space probes join NASA line of cost-cap discovery missions, a program that has included the Mars Pathfinder rover, the Messenger mission to orbit Mercury, and the Dawn spacecraft that orbited the giant asteroid Vesta and the dwarf planet Ceres. Picked from a slate of 28 proposals submitted to NASA in 2015, Lucy and Psyche will visit worlds never before seen close up as scientists seek to sort out the violent early history of the solar system, when protoplanets coalesced from mergers and collisions between rocks and boulders in a disk around the sun. The Trojan asteroids, including Lucy's flyby targets, may still look the same as they did more than 4 billion years ago, before scientists believe the immense pull of Jupiter's gravity trapped them in their current locations as the outer planets shifted positions. The Trojans are relics of the types of objects that came together to create the giant planets. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Because of their distance from Earth, fragments from the Jupiter Trojans have never fallen to the ground as meteorites, robbing scientists of any insight into their history and makeup. Lucy's mission is aimed at answering some serious scientific questions, but mission planners aren't immune to pop culture. Lucy, the fossil received its name after scientists heard the Beatles' song Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds while celebrating the discovery. Scientists developing the Trojan asteroid explorers saw the connection. These asteroids really are like diamonds in the sky in terms of their scientific value for understanding how the giant planets formed and the solar system evolved, Levison said. A tiny diamond buried deep inside the LTES spectrometer acts as a beam splitter, which breaks light apart and sends beams into different directions within the instrument's focal plane. That's all I have for you guys for today. If you liked watching this video, please make sure to click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon so that you may be notified when we upload a new video. Thanks for watching.